Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Danny J, and I'm back with another video. So today I thought that I would kind of fill you guys in on my fitness journey, let you know where I am now, let you guys know the milestones that I have crossed, let you guys know what I'm still struggling with, and kind of catch you up on my fitness journey. So I don't know if you saw my 1K subscriber giveaway, but I will link it up above. I asked you guys what did you want to see from me, and the response was the same. Natural hair and fitness for the most part. So that's exactly what I'm going to continue to deliver on my channel. So um, this video is just going to be a quick video, kind of letting you guys know where I am with my fitness journey um, from my last video. I will link um, a what's in my gym bag up above, and I'll also link my apple cider vinegar, abilene, and garcinia cambogia video up above. And thank you guys so much. That video has over 20,000 views. So thank you guys so much. Keep watching it. Keep sharing it. And thank you subbies and non-subbies for watching and supporting me. It means so much to me. So without further ado, let's jump into my fitness journey. So um, when 2017 began in January and I did the whole new year, new me thing like everybody else does. And I said that I was going to get serious about my fitness. And that's just what I did. Y'all, I have been in the gym hardcore. Like you would think I was training for a marathon and I'm just training to be healthy. I vowed to change my lifestyle in January and that's exactly what I did. So I've been going to the gym twice a day, um, every day, Monday through Friday. And I've also been eating better and doing everything that I'm supposed to do to change my lifestyle and to become more healthy. So, if you did see my last video, you know that I was incorporating new things into my everyday um, habits so that I can be healthier and get the most out of my gym workouts. So, the things that I'm going to show you right now are going to be some old things and some new things that I am using to keep me going. Um, when I started my fitness journey, I was at 185 pounds, and I am now at 165, so I have lost a gang of weight since January. And I know some of you guys are thinking, that's not that much weight um, in four months, but honestly, it is for me because this is weight that I am losing and keeping off. So I didn't want to do too many fad diets where you lose 10 pounds in a week or 10 pounds in three days because that weight is going to come back. So I kind of have been doing this journey the healthy and most effective way to keep the weight off. So well, I'm going to show you some things right now to um, tell you about them because maybe you guys want to incorporate them into your fitness journey. So one thing that I'm still using that I will never stop using is Abilene. And like I said, if you did see my other video, um, I'll link it up above. I go into detail about Abilene, and basically it is a product that is meant for your face, but a lot of people are using it on their tummies, and it is helping them lose those inches, and also it helps you sweat more in the gym. So you kind of get that water weight gone, etc. So Abilene is something that I'm still using for my fitness journey, and something that I'll never stop using because it's, it's so effective. Like, it really, really, really works, and it has a consistency like petroleum jelly, and I got the one that's odorless, fragrance-free, and um, for more information on this, go ahead and click that link up above to see exactly how I use this. So that's Abilene. I'm still using my Fitbit, and if you want to see a video on this Fitbit, it is the Fitbit Alta. I will link it up above so that you can go and check it out. Y'all, this Fitbit brings me so much joy like last week i forgot my fitbit um when i left for work and i seriously turned around came back to the house to get my fitbit because we're not missing some, no steps around here like no steps are being missed so i did go back to the house and get this fitbit this fitbit is so dope it tracks your steps you can compete with friends 
and it just makes me feel motivated when I look at my steps and see that I've accomplished my personal set step goal that I set for myself. So this Fitbit is life. And again, I'll link the video up above so that you can check it out and see if you want to get you a Fitbit because I think they're very beneficial. And if you don't get a Fitbit, any um, fitness tracker, um, Apple Watch, anything that you can track your steps in your fitness, I think is so beneficial because it keeps you motivated. And this is one thing that helps me stay motivated because a lot of times I don't want to get up in the morning at 3 a.m. I just don't. But I do because I want to meet my step goal. I want to meet my daily fitness goal that I've set for myself. So this is super beneficial. The next thing, C4 Sport. And this is a pre-workout that gives you energy. So I work out twice a day, five days a week, and I get tired around Wednesday, the second part of the day. So around Wednesday, I will take this C4 and it is just a concentrated energy and performance powder. I got the flavor fruit punch and it's a dietary supplement and it has 30 servings in this jar. So I don't use it every day. I only use it when I feel as though I need a pick me up and you're supposed to take it 30 minutes before you hit the gym. So I'll usually just mix it before I leave work and as I'm driving to the gym, I'll drink it. So the first day I used it, which was last week, I'm telling y'all, it was amazing. I definitely can feel the difference. I had a lot of energy and um, I really like it. So I will be using this more and then I'll do another update on it but it is the C4 Sport uh cellulite cell user cell user so this is really good and another thing that I did at the end of March was I did a detox and I really did the detox not to solely lose weight, even though this detox is geared towards weight loss and rejuvenation. Um, I did this detox because I had been eating poorly um, for that weekend. I had drank alcohol and I had ate something fried, I believe. So I kind of wanted to get back on a good foot. So I did the Arden's Garden Fruit Detox for two days. And the back of it says, this two-day detox can help cleanse your body by removing toxins and hydrating cells with superior nutrients that repair, rebuild, and regenerate. For optimal results, drink 8 to 12 ounces of detox every hour. Drinking additional distilled water every two hours will enhance the cleansing process. So, I am going to do a separate video about this solely but this is a detox that you drink for two days you drink a gallon a day and as much distilled water as you want and this is all that you drink you don't eat anything you just drink this gallon for both days and all the distilled water you want i'm not gonna lie that detox was hard on the second day However, whenever I felt hungry, I just drank another big glass of the detox, followed by a big glass of distilled water, and I was good to go. Like, I just kept doing that, and I bought another container from the Dollar Tree, and that's what I pretty much carried my um, detox in for work, and I would leave some at home. So, this detox was super beneficial. At the end of it, I felt rejuvenated, I felt clean, I felt clear, and I lost nine pounds in two days using this Arden's Gardens two-day fruit juice detox. So I think that it was beneficial for me. Um, so I will do a separate video on just that so that I can got, kind of tell you guys my experience, how I felt each day, etc. But it was beneficial for me, and I think you guys should definitely look into it and give it a try. If you don't have an Arden's Garden, they do ship, and I think the shipping is pretty fast, so definitely check into it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I started at 185. I'm now 165. And of course, I'll be inserting some videos and pictures and footage throughout this video so that you can kind of see where I'm at. Um, I'm continuing to eat healthy. I have been eating five small meals a day, and it's really, really, really paying off. I can definitely see my face slimming down. I can definitely see my tummy slimming down, and it's a work in progress, and I just want everyone to know that we're all going to fail sometime, but as long as we pick our back, ourselves back up and stay motivated, I mean, that's all that we really need to do. 
is just keep going because everybody's going to have their downfalls. And I really appreciate all the ladies that are reaching out to me for help um, on their weight loss journey. It makes me feel so good knowing that you guys are watching me and I won't stop. I'm going to do this for me. I'm going to do this for my health, but I'm also doing it for you guys. So um, I'm continuing to eat pretty good for the most part. My protein is pretty much ground turkey or chicken. And then, of course, I'm incorporating veggies and greens into my diet. Um, I'm still doing my breakfast smoothies in the morning, or I do fruit, protein powder, and um, veggies as far as zucchini, um, spinach. So I'm still doing that, and I'm just feeling so good. I'm feeling so motivated to keep going, and I want you guys to feel the same way. Um, if you have any questions for me, you can definitely leave them down below in the comments, or you can email me at J. Um, at yahoo.com and I'll feel free feel free because I would love to kind of connect with you guys more because I know everybody's going through a fitness journey or wanting to be healthier and I would love for you guys to join me on my journey um thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that little bell down there so that every time I post you can definitely be alerted you'll be the first one to know so hit that bell y'all but anyway, that's all I got today. Um, I will be doing these updates monthly so that you guys can kind of keep up with my progress. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm. Deuces. Had a girl quiet like me, uh, me. Pull up in the wire in my beside me. It's a two-seater yoke. Can't rap, I'm sorry. Pull up in the wire in my beside me.